yeah today there is something that went uh, really wrong when I, when i was about to take the aws certified cloud practitioner exam yeah i have scheduled my exam today at 7 am in the morning so for this exam i i have prepared really well and i did not sleep for the entire night actually because i could 24 hours i did not sleep and i am taking the exam so what happened was actually i have set up uh, my exam station in my home actually so i have set up my laptop with a full of charge batteries our backups are everything is ready also this online practice exam so where the practitioner uh, watches you or through your webcam and verify your identity you need to show your passport or a driving license or any any identity proof through your webcam and the practitioner sees and verifies so then he will allow to start the exam but what the problem is that aws actually uh, ties up with the psi and the ps1 view to conduct the exam so the people uh, who want to take this exam need to register through a psi or ps1 view they can take the exam from their house or they can take the exam from a exam center actually so i am currently living in a place it is a kind of a, a small town so there is no psi exam center so i preferred to take the exam at my house so the what is the problem is like a, so before 30 minutes of starting of exam for example if your exam starts at 7 am so by 6:30 am itself you are allowed to launch uh, the browser the browser is a psi developed browser it is a practitioner it is actually a practitioner tool okay that connects with your webcam this tool allows you to uh, i mean this tool was used to by the practitioner to see your uh environment you are you are work set up and uh, uh he used this to verify your identification and uh, you need to turn on your microphone and everything uh, this is the actually the important thing and every, this is a very important thing for the exam and uh, the first thing should be like uh, you need to uh, run a compatibility check with your system actually so this automated compatibility check uh, that checks your webcam uh mic and internet connection so everything is verified then you are ready to go but the problem is that what went wrong here the psi the browser you need to download the browser just 30 minutes before the exam so the browser is kind of exe file you need to download it is some 200 to 300 megabytes in size you need to download it and install but what went wrong is that during the installation process Uh, the browser is actually kind of installed and uh, the browser is launching but during the launching time the browser keeps getting closed and again and again so i try to install it multiple times and uh, restarting my computer and uh, i need i i again log into the website psa website and download it again and again and again and try it it almost exam time so i did not verify my id and uh, i did not uh, start the exam as well so this is what went wrong today so i was kind of uh, what to say uh, very uh, i am not very frustrated but it is kind of very very bad experience for someone who has a uh, dedicated prepared for the exam but uh, unable to do the exam yeah so what i did was like i can uh, there is no help at the moment so i need to just go to the psi psi website and i need to is a compliant ticket that uh, this thing happened to me so so that they they will take it forward to their support team and uh, they provide me with a reschedule option or any exam vouchers or something or properly any refund so i am looking for the so it is it is really kind of not a good experience actually why uh, aws is kind of it is a, the number one cloud provider in the world you need to tie up with some company that doesn't provide you a very good exam experience they provide you with some software or a browser which is not uh, very user friendly and uh, it's not very uh, good and stable yeah so this is what uh, happened to me and for you when you whenever you to take the exam try to take it from exam center instead of uh, your home because if these kind of issues can arise any time so you will not be happy having any backups so Better register your exam in exam center. 
and if if this kind of issues happen in the exam center alternatively it is not your fault is their fault so you don't need to worry about contacting the the customer support or getting refund or anything so the exam center people take care of the stuff and provide you with some alternative or something so this is what is my recommendation and aws should uh, improve their uh, exam experience and everything yeah thank you very much and if you if you faced any similar kind of experience just uh, mention that in the comments yeah thank you very much